but there was enough something there that I wanted to go through it. He took me through the protocol, and I got done with it. And right when I got done with it, I was like, aha. Like, I, it was like this instant feedback, this instant, like, I feel different. I feel like I'm set up, organized the way I'm supposed to be. So after that experience, um, got a system and started working it with it myself and started working with some of my athletes. The thing that moved the needle for me, the thing that I found, the reason I'm such a proponent and a believer in this, and I believe there is some sort of magic pixie dust to it, is the fact that Heather, my wife, got injured leading up to the 2014 CrossFit Regionals. She, one of the events, she was on the team, and one of the events for the teams was a one rep max snatch. It also happened to have, followed that was a um, handstand walk for time. Training for that, we were in the last regional, so we knew the events way in advance. We knew the events about five weeks ahead of time. Well, during that first week, we worked up to a very heavy one round snatch in this very room, right there. I was standing right there, and she tore her rotator cuff and tore it. Three different places, we got MRIs done. And we didn't have a substitute. She was our girl. We were gonna, have, we were gonna go with that team. She was our, we had two teams going to regionals that year. We had exhausted all of our females. There was nowhere else to go. So with a torn rotator cuff, with a month to go to the regionals, for that entire month, she did not snatch. She did not press a barbell above her head. She did not walk on her hands at all. She did crossover symmetry three to five times every single day. We brought one home. She did it at home before she went to bed. She did when she woke up. She did it before training, during training, and after training. We looked for five times. And then hopefully, you know, maybe sometimes you got busy and there was three times, but three to five times every day. At the regionals that year, she PR'd her snatch, having not snatched for a month with a torn rotator cuff. She PR'd her handstand walk as well, having not walked on her hands for a month, and she's not, she was not good at walking her hands before starting the crossover symmetry protocol. It's, I mean, from there, once that happened, it's every single one of my athletes, it's a part of their program. We have systems all over the gym to make sure that our regular members do it. It's a necessity, it's a must do for our, for our athletes.